Can you all decide in your pairs who's going to go first, who's going to go second? And whoever's going first, please step up to the podium. OK, let's find out what the question is. We gave 100 people 100 seconds to name as many animated Disney films with one-word titles as they could. Richard. Yeah, we're looking for any partially or fully animated uh, feature films made for cinema release which have been produced and animated by Walt Disney Animation Studios or Disney Pixar up to the start of April 2011. So any Disney film with just a one word title, please. And just to warn you, we would count the as a word, so don't have the rescuers, for example, would be two words. So any Disney film or Disney Pixar film with a one word title, please. Thank you very much, Richard. OK, Stacey and Fred, you all drew lots before the show and this afternoon you get to go first. So, Stacey. <laughs> it's quite a good round for me. I love Disney films. But there's so many to choose from. I think I'm going to go with a Disney Pixar film, which hopefully wasn't as popular as the mainstream Disney films. I'll go with Cars. Cars. Very good. You'll hope to score as few points as possible with Cars. Let's see if it's right. And if it is, let's see how many of our 100 people said Cars. Goes 32. 32. Not a bad score, Stacey. Well done. Cars, Richard. Yeah, Cars from 2006 and a 2011 sequel as well. Very well done. Now then, Paul. You're going to be good at this, I think, aren't oh, you? Well, I was hoping to be good, but trying to find the obscure, that's a bit difficult. I mean, I love Walt Disney movies, but just trying to find a well, one it, word. It or... might be that these are all quite high scoring. I just thought Cars was a, was a very good obscure one, but it... Yes, 32. that was on my list, mm. definitely, mm. but I'm racking my brains. The only one I think that would work is a really old one that perhaps people wouldn't go for, although it's quite popular. So I'm going to take a chance and go for Pinocchio. Pinocchio, you're going to say OK. Well, you're hoping to score as few points as possible with that. Let's see if Pinocchio is right, and if it is, let's see how many of our 100 people said it. Pinocchio. It's right. 30. It's a great score, Paul. Well done. Pinocchio. Yeah, pretty high scoring uh, round, though, isn't it? From 1944, Pinocchio won an Oscar for Best Song When You Wish Upon a Star. Very well done. So then, Trevor, we come to you. An animated Disney film with a one word title. Well, actually, I did have Pinocchio in mind, um, but I'm going quite far back now, and, and I just hope it was a a Disney film, but Fantasia. Fantasia. Very, very good. You're hoping to score as few points as possible with Fantasia. Let's see if it's right, and if it is, let's see how many people said Fantasia. Down it goes. Very well done, Trevor. That's great. 18. A great score there. Fantasia. Yeah, well played, Trevor. That really is going back. It's from 1940. Fantasia, with Mickey Mouse as the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Sue, we come to you. Well... It, is this a good subject for you? It is, because I've got lots of little grandchildren. So I shall be devastated if I don't do well on this one. What about them? I mean, they will be. They'll be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Fantasia, but um, I'm going to go fairly safely, I think, and say Bambi. You're going to say Bambi. Paul, what's that face mean? I know, why didn't I think of that one earlier? Why didn't I think of that one? <laughs> Bambi. You're going to say Bambi. Well, you're hoping to score as few points as possible with Bambi. Let's see if it's right. And if it is, let's see how many of our 100 people said Bambi. <laughs> 51. <laughs> Not a bad score, but the highest of the scores. Richard, Bambi. Uh, yeah, from 1942, Bambi. Are you still unhappy you didn't go for that one, Paul? I am so relieved. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're halfway through the round. Let's take a look at the scores as they stand. Trevor and Alan, once again, this is becoming a sort of reprise. The best scores in the, at the end of the first pass. On 18, then we go up to 30, Paul and Colin, up to 32, Stacey and Fred. And they're not that far ahead, but nonetheless, most definitely ahead, Sue and Anne on 51. So, Anne, you're going to have to answer carefully in this next pass to make sure you survive. OK, we're going to come back down the line. Can the second players please take their places at the podium? OK, we are looking for one-word animated Disney films. 
animated Disney films with a one-word title. Anne. The ones I thought of have gone. Uh, so I'm going to go for Dumbo. That used to be my nickname at school. I wonder if anyone knows why. <laughs> it's, it's still your nickname now. Did you not know? <laughs> OK, you are saying Dumbo. There's no red line for you, I'm afraid, Anne, because you're the high scorers. You just have to hope this will go down as far as it possibly can. Let's see. Dumbo, is it right? How many people said it? <laughs> 33. Not a bad score, Anne. Not bad at all. That takes your total up to 84. Richard? Uh, from 1941, Dumbo. Again, won an Oscar for, for best score. Alan, you are on 18, thanks to Trevor's brilliant answer of Fantasia. The high scorers are Anne and Sue on 84. If you can score 65 or less, Alan, that's all you have to do to get through to the next round. OK, well, I'll try one. Not too sure. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. There's your red line, Alan. Below that red line, you are through to the next round. Let's see if Tinkerbell is right. And if it is, let's see how many people said it. Bad luck, Alan. Unfortunately, that's an incorrect answer, which means you score the maximum of 100 points. That takes your total up to 118. Richard? Yeah, unlucky, Alan. Very well-known Disney character, of course. Never had a, a cinema movie about her. There was a, there was a video released in 2008, but that was a, that's Tinker Bell, two words anyway. But uh, she never had a, a cinema movie made about her. Well, now, Colin, we come to you. OK, remember, we are looking for animated Disney films with a one-word title. OK. The um, high scorers are Alan and Trevor on 118. You are on 30. If you can score 87 or less, you're through to the next round. I've got a couple in mind. I'm not sure if they've got something in... I'm not sure if they're one words. Um, I will go for... Cinderella. Cinderella. There is your red line. Below that red line, you're through to the next round. It's right, and you are through to the next round. 49 for Cinderella. <laughs> well done. That takes your score up to 79. Richard? Yeah, well done, Colin. Another high scorer, but you're yeah, safely through the second round, so uh, a very good answer. From 1950, Cinderella. So then, Fred. Finally, we come to you. Stacey did brilliantly with Cars on 32. The high scorers on 118 are Trevor and Alan. If you can score 85 or less, you're through to the next round. Um, th there's a couple of um, uh, of popular ones like um, I was. Can I speak? I you can. Speak? You can. Uh, yeah. Aladdin, um, which will probably score high, but it might get us below the uh, 180. But I've got a, a risky one that <laughs> that I might regret saying. But I'm going to say it anyway. Mulan. Mulan. Is it right? How many people said it? There's your red line. Below that red line. Through to the next round. Mulan. Well done. And you're through. <laughs> Might this be our lowest scoring film title? Yes, it is. 11 points. Very, very well done indeed, Fred. The best score in the round. That takes your total up to 43. Richard? Yeah, very well played, uh, Fred. A retelling of the old Chinese folktale, Mulan. If you had said uh, Aladdin, would have scored you 34. Would have, would have been safe as well. One of the highest scorers. We've seen all the highest scorers, actually. Bambi, Cinderella, uh, they were the two highest scorers. Aladdin was pretty high. Dumbo, Cars, those are the big ones. Let's take a look at some of the lowest scoring ones. There's only one pointless answer in the whole round. So, very well done at home if you said Dinosaur. Uh, from 2000. It's a pointless answer, would have won some money. It's a very good answer. Hercules, a good answer with one bolt, which came up very recently. That would have scored you two, so all good answers. Thanks very much, Richard. So at the end of round one, the losing pair with the highest score, I'm afraid to say. Trevor and Alan. What can I say? <laughs> oh, you've come all this way from Dumfries, and you have been for absolutely brilliant contestants. Great shame to be saying goodbye to you so soon, but thank you so much for playing. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.